Hello, I'm going to do a quick flip through of my setup for this year, my file of facts. And I'm using, well, how would you know? I haven't filmed in so long, but I'm going to use a different little, whoops, different little setup. So I'm trying to get it perfect. Please bear with me for just a minute. I think that's it. Oh, if it stays, that would be perfect. I think that'll be perfect. Okay. So, hello. <laughs> I am using um, the Filofax Malden. And it is the, I think they call it the Fuchsia. It's the one that came out summer of 2016. And I believe I did an unboxing for this. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, I use this. All, f all throughout the fall until the Christmas time. And then I went into my Christmas, um, my holiday planner thing. I use a really pretty green one. So anyway, I am, actually, these are the same dividers as I used last year. And just going to get a look. Okay. The same dividers I used last year. I made them. I like them. I'm going to use them again. I've got some Kate Spade paper clips just for decoration. Back here I have some to-do lists and shopping lists. It's, you know, it's really, they're small, so they're not really that practical, but they're, you know, I bought them, they were cute. And then just a few extra things in here. And I keep stickers, some little itty bitty stickers that I print off myself in here. And they're just really hard to get out, so I'm not gonna get them out. So my first um, little section, and. I'm probably going to change this because I realize now that it's in the wrong spot. <laughs> but anyway, it's another Kate Spade clip. Are some Disney quarterly calendars that I made for the Disney screen. It says Disney screen. Our um, movie theater did this last year and I just kept the, um, I just, you know, printed that off. And this is actually from March of last year, so it's an old one. But I put it in here to remind me to print off the new one. Okay, so our first, it's our adoption day picture. <laughs> it's just, it was, uh, I printed it on printer paper. I don't know why, so it's very bad quality. This is actually the top loader um, envelope that came from Filofax. And then I have a, if found, please return to, a, a year at a glance calendar. And I believe this is from Hobby Lobby. I have some stencils that I don't really like. They're thin and thin and flimsy and I don't remember where I got them from but since I don't recommend them I'm not going to I'm not gonna even look for the link I just they're you know I'm gonna I keep thinking I'm gonna give them another try so I keep them in there and I um, made this last year it is you know like to you put for every like five pounds or every pound or whatever you put a sticker in here and if I could ever get started on that I would I would do it. It kind of was a fail last year, but I keep wanting to try it again. And I clip this here so I can just stick it in or take it out as I would like. And I do that with most everything. Even with these stencils, I did the same thing. It's my little dashboard I made. And on the back, it has 2016 holidays. I haven't set up for, I mean, I haven't printed off the 2017 yet, but I'll put the 2017 on top and laminate it again because I like it. I think it's pretty. I think that's, I think that paper, it's one of my favorite papers. So I like looking at it. This is a pullout for 2017 from So Much Crafting. I actually bought the 2016 last year and it came with 2017. So I didn't buy a new one this year. So that was convenient. And I believe this printable is from um, Wonderful, And I just, um, keep, you know, keep birthdays and stuff on there. And my first layout, I, do, I don't have a lot filled in because I don't really like to show that. So um, I, I kind of waited <laughs> until I, after I did this video. And since I'm just now getting to it, it's kind of like halfway through the month now. But. I don't usually use the month in view anyway. It's something new for this year. And I bought the, I even bought the stickers for it to kind of help me. But these are all Eclipse. And the, I love this kit though. It's very pretty. It's from Adorably Amy Designs on Etsy. I can put a link for her down below. Because I highly recommend her. I love her stuff. I use her in almost every layout. And these are all Eclipse, like I said. And um, what I do is 
I have all of my months in here because the thought is I wanted to use them for forward planning and just to get like, I know birthdays are coming up. I know when things are due, things like that. And then I can put them on my week as the weeks go by. So what I did is I put all my monthlies in here and then I just clip them to the um, weekly layout. And I use, this is um, Planner Kate. Planner Kate's weekly personal kit. And I don't remember the name, but it's like a winter theme. And the th thing is, is we had winter a couple of days last week. And it's in the 70s this week. So this the theme doesn't even go. But um, this little scale is from Chrissy Ann Designs. And again, this is Planner Kate. And Chrissy Ann Designs. And the, the meal plan thing is Chrissy Ann Designs. And then the crock pot, it's layered. The crock pot is Whimsical Flamingo. Um, another Kate Spade bow. I love Kate Spade bows. <laughs> so... This weekly layout is my jam. I love it. It works for me so well. It's just because I don't have a lot to do. So um, this week on one page works really well. And then I can do my lists on like my forward meal planning. Um, I'll show you one that was already done. Take these off. This is, and, and not, I don't, you know, every week I don't, you know, put everything down because I forget. But um, you know, I start off good. Some weeks I use it more than others. Um, I don't think I have another one in here. Let's see. Oh, that week I didn't use it at all. I just, I, I've decorated and never used it because we didn't do anything. We didn't even have school that week. Now that week was busy because it was Christmas, but, um, this actually came, this divider, I think it came from Webster's Pages. One of my Webster's Pages, Color Crush. But anyway, um, this kit is mostly um, adorably Amy. <laughs> the um, the little schools I put every for every day we have preschool, and they're from Libby and Company. And a lot of things I, I make myself. But anyway, let me put this back in here while I think about it. But that this is a page that I mean that was kind of a little more active. Because again, I, it's midweek. I haven't filled, filled anything, everything in. But I always do my meal plan over here. And this meal plan is for the week, the next week. So I can know to get, you know, the stuff that we need. And so anyway, that's my, my weekly. And I, I love it. I love the, it's simple. The inserts, all of my inserts, unless I print it on myself or from so much crafting. And then I keep my weeks in here as much as will fit. And this happens to be to June, I believe. Or maybe it's just April. Maybe it's May. Let's see. Well, I got May. Maybe it's through May. Yeah, through May. Because, you know, that's what will fit. Then I have my little household section. And um, or she's from a Tide ad from back in the day. And uh, the dividers, again, are old. I just kind of clipped that on there because I thought it was cute. The dividers, the papers, my mind's eye. Again, I love it. I'm going to use it. And so I have this weekly task or daily task thing from um, So Much Crafting. And I just printed one out. I bought the I bought the inserts. And then I'm like, you know, I don't need, I don't need to do this every week. There, if I, if I commit to, or if I try to commit to doing, a week, a daily task sheet every week, my to-do list every, you know, all this, and then plus all, you know, all the other inserts, I won't have any time to do anything. So I'd make it and then just refer back to it. <coughs> and I could laminate it and mark it off as I go and then, you know, use dry erase and that would work. But again, I, I mean, I know I need to pick up the toys every day. I know I need to make the bed every day. I need to pick up clothes that might be on the floor every day. I need to wipe the bathrooms down, blah, blah, blah. Sweet. And I was making my husband's lunch every day. I need to make coffee. I need to tidy my desk. And then weekly, I know, you know, I, I don't have to refer to this all the time. But if I need some motivation, I can. <laughs> and again, I have um, tons of these now. So if I change, I can just fill out another sheet. 
And then I I did this one day. I got inspired and did to-dos for Monday, um, Tuesdays, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday. Thursday and Friday is easy. So. And then I have my meal, my ro the a rotating meal plan. And again, I don't have to look back at this because I can remember things. And this our meal plans are very easy. And we're not actually following this right now anyway because we got a pressure cooker and now I'm, you know, that just shake, that shook everything up. But anyway, I, I'm, again, these are from So Much Crafting. I love them and I, you know, I could use them on the grocery list, but I don't. <laughs> and then I have a few extra in here. Our next section is, let's see what my next section is before I turn the page. Oh, just random notes like my wish list. Um, this wish list is actually from Kate Spade. Another wish list. <laughs> Reasons to be happy. Excited. You know, I got these from Michaels. They're recollection, um, recollections things. And I liked them. I bought the whole book and just used one page. But, you know, if I'm sitting, <coughs> excuse me, waiting for preschool to get out, if I want to make a list, I have them in there to do so. And they're cute. Just something, you know, additional to put in there to refer back to. And then this next section, I love this, um, these pinup girls. My next section is my doctor's appointments list. And um, I've ha I have some health issues. I'm, I mean, I'm not dying or anything, but, you know, regular issues that come with being a aging woman. I'm in my 40s now, so I feel like I'm aging. And then I have stuff for my daughter in here, so I'm not going to show you all that. But um, I made this divider out of, I just thought it was so cute. It's out of a, a bag that came from my pharmacy. But I just thought it was so cute. It's like all vintage ads. And I'm going to just, I have my doctor's cards in there, which I'm not going to show. Then I have, um, I have the So Much Crafting medical kit in here. And I have a page for, I wish I could show you a blank page, but I don't have one. But I'll just kind of peek in here and see what it says. I have a page for me and a page for my daughter. And what it has is a place with the date and the reason for the visit and questions you could ask the doctor. Oh, here. It looks like it looks like this. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. And, I, you know, I don't always have to fill one out. But my, do my daughter goes to the doctor very, very, like her well child visit. She's never sick. <coughs> And even though I sound like I'm sick because I'm coughing, it's, I don't know why, I just can't stop. The cough won't go away. I had a cold, and now the cough won't go away. I've, it's been like this for a couple of months, and my doctor even gave me some um, antibiotics just in case, and there was nothing wrong with me. I just can't get rid of the cough. And now, when I talk a lot, it it just makes me cough more. Um, I have my prescriptions in here that I need to keep up with. <coughs> excuse me oh and then this is what that looks like and then I have a page for my daughter and then the next section is what is the next section oh like gift cards and things like that I need to use and another I love those little vintage ladies another my mind's eye paper I love that feel the, the texture feels so cool with that glitter um, I have some rewards cards, things I really don't use them that often, and then some stickers that I made myself and the, that I use every week and need to cut out. And then I have um, just extra insurance cards and stuff in there as well. <coughs> <coughs> and I should keep the insurance card and the teledoc card in with my medical stuff, but I really don't have, I don't want to use the space to put another one of these um, credit card holders in there. It would just bulk it up. Another Kate Spade paperclip. And this is a, a checkbook transaction thing. I bought these thinking I'd use them. I don't. I can go online to look for those. Um, oh, I have an online order tracker. And then this next one is just the end. And it was going to be my my diet section, but I got the happy the happy planner fitness, so it's not. And then that's it. I you I don't keep much back here. Sometimes I'll keep a notepad or something back here, but I didn't have put anything back here this time. The pen I love to use is the Micron, a Micron um, archival ink pen, and it, it's I don't even know. I've used it so much. It says. Uh,